This is an old Honda XR500 doing some work on it. One of the things I would like to do is install a digital speedometer. This bike, it has drum brakes in the front and drum brakes in the rear. And this is the uh, speedometer setup that I'd like to install. It's actually also a tachometer. However, it's primarily the speedometer that I'm interested in. And here is the sensor. And this is a magnetic bolt. So typically I think these are like that sensor setup typically I believe is installed on the front and but here I don't have a disc brake. I think that would be more user friendly for installing if it had a disc brake. So I think it could still be done with the drum brake installing the sensor. However, I've decided to install the sensor at the back and so what I would like to do is have the uh, magnetic bolt in the sprocket and then the sensor mounted here on the swing arm somehow make some sort of a bracket like that and then run the wire I'm not sure exactly the routing of the wire yet but uh, I think there would be some protection even just from the uh, kickstand if the bike falls over and you know that would be some protection so a sensor about like that so you, the wire is just it's kind of bending right there where the the swing arm is so if I bend the wire somewhat Okay, well, I think this will work. So I've got the hole drilled now for this magnetic bolt. And uh, this is definitely a steel sprocket. So I uh, assume I have made the sprocket a little bit weaker because I've drilled the hole. However, being a steel sprocket, I highly doubt that the sprocket would ever have a structural failure. However, I don't know everything. So... And how do I know it's a steel sprocket? Well, it, I sure could tell when I was drilling it. And here's some more evidence. Ready? So I used some of this material here to build the bracket for the sensor. But I ran into a problem. The uh, magnetic bolt that uh, I was going to put in here I thought, well, I would just tighten it like I would a regular bolt, about that size, and uh, I broke it. So here it is. So it looks like it looks like the end that goes to the magnetic head it looks like it's actually machined, and then somehow fastened. Was it this side or this side? No, I'm not sure like a very light some sort of a you know a <laughs> somehow it was very lightly welded on there I, I don't know how they did that so but the I've, I've got a spare magnet that came with the kit so what I was thinking maybe I could yeah, <laughs> magnet works maybe I could take a bolt to a machine shop because I I don't own a lathe and maybe they could machine that bolt head so that the magnet would be recessed into a regular bolt and then it would sit in there you know basically flush with the top of this bolt head and maybe I could bond it in there yet as well and I, I think that should stay in there at least that's my my uh, idea on that I don't know everything and not everything I plan works but anyways guys so the uh, at least the bracket is done but it's it's not painted yet oh so one more thing I uh, thought of this as I was uh, already uh, somewhat into the project but uh, this wheel it is actually 
set back a little ways for a somewhat worn chain. As the chain wears, then you know, moving the axle, the whole wheel assembly back a little to tighten the chain. Well, so it's in the back position for a worn chain. So right now, right now this works. This is a pretty good alignment for uh, the rear set wheel, but with a new chain, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Uh, the uh, bolt hole for the the mag magnetic bolt hole is pretty much to the top. It's like here would be, you know, more top, so it's kind of in line. So I think before I paint this, uh, I'd like to assemble it with the new chain and just see how this is going to line up. Whether I have to make uh, some changes or maybe even elongate the hole here on the bracket so that I could maybe move the sensor back and forth somewhat on the uh, on the bracket here